everyone. Thanks for joining me. Those who don't know me, my name is Cal and the channel is Cherish and Inspire. And um, I'm also increasing to twice a week. Times have to be confirmed. I'm not too sure, like this should have been up at 10 o'clock this morning, but there's been a lot of delays uh, with music and so on. Now I'm just gonna take you over and show you how to make the corn vegetable pasties. So you can follow the ingredients if you like on the corn pie. That's the ingredients that was listed all on that video in description. So check it out for yourselves. So I have the puff pastry ready. I've taken it out of the fridge at least 15 to 20 minutes before using it. I'm going to cut it into six. Then I also already have the mince, I've let it cool down and I've added in the fresh coriander. Just letting that cool and then I'm going to make a start to make the vegetarian pasties. So I'm just cutting up the uh, puff pastry. Again, like I said, I'm only going to do six and I'm just quickly showing you here how I cut the puff pastry. So this is the corn mince and uh, also I have the milk, which I'm using milk. You can use any type of milk, water or even egg. Now I, I have washed my hands before I start to fill in the pasties. Um, I'm using the spoon and I'm trying to keep it into the same measure of one, maybe two or one and a half spoons each. So I'm just going to carry on while you just I'll play music and while you just watch. So I am using a puff pastry brush just to coat the uh, pastry on the sides. Doesn't matter which side you do. You can do one side, but it is totally up to you. In this case, I only used one side of the pastry to brush it with a pastry brush. And I here I'm using milk to brush the sides. Now what I'm doing is overlapping the pa pasty and because I've put the milk on the sides using the fingertip just to close it. Just showing you a bit closer up, bringing it to the camera, slowing it down so you can see how I have closed the sides. It is literally using your fingertips. Then to make a nice little pan, all you've got to use is a fork. If you've got any other ideas, that'd be great to hear your suggestions. And you can always put that in comments. So I'm just going 
along with the fork along on the side of the pastry. <laughs> And then also not forgetting to coat the pasties on top, whatever you use, milk, water or even egg. Make sure you coat them quite well so they don't dry out and it gives them a lovely crispy top to the pastry. Then I'm just putting them onto the baking tray and also another tip I have to share, the baking tray, I've used the puff pastry grease proof paper <laughs> to recycle it and it worked a treat i always usually throw it away and put another new sheet on this time i thought i'll put it to the test to see how it worked and it was brilliant now they're ready to go into the oven i have put the gas mark at six or you can say 180 degrees gas mark six uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes i'm putting it on 15 minutes and also at this time i'm setting it on a timer i'm using the egg timer just to remind myself with the kids running about now i'm moving on to my second pack of puff pastry i'm going to be making in total 12 of these pasties i'm going to treat my parents go and drop some off so we don't have any wasted left so because i have so much corn left i'm just going to make the next six so if anybody is a beginner to cooking this is great for them um, that's my whole idea is to inspire new beginners give some ideas and if anybody would like to share in comments below that i'd be really grateful with any ideas to have making their own corn pastries you might have some other ideas for ingredients please share them with me in comments and i'd really appreciate it and if you have any other ideas also share them in comments so i'm just going to carry on and put some music on and let you watch the rest of me making these pasties <laughs> Milk going on top. Using the fork to put the pattern on the ends.
So this is the little amount I have left to make myself another corn pie. <laughs> So the mash is done and I'm just making it straight into the pan and I'm mashing it, added butter. At this time you can add in whatever you like, cheese, mustard, salt, black pepper. It will be up to you in how you want to make your topping of your pie. The tastier the better I say. <laughs> so this was the mash made and I'm just going to let that cool so I can put it back onto the rest of the pie. So cool it and let's go back on to the pasties gotta say they do look good and they smell absolutely delicious So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel I'd love you to subscribe to our channel. And again a big thank you for those who watched this video today and um, we'll see you in our next one very soon. So bye for now.